I was diagnosed with Asperger's at age 21. When I first got the diagnosis, I was very upset. I was asking for support, but was basically told there wasn't anything available. I still think the diagnosis was a positive thing, because it has really helped me to understand myself better. However, I think there needs to be more support available for adults with Asperger's. At the time, I felt very isolated and alone, particularly as a woman with Asperger's, because it's about ten times more common in men. I tried going to an Asperger support group and I met the only other girl in the group who has now become one of my best friends, which was good. But I didn't go back because some of the men there made me feel very uncomfortable. Nowadays, I don't feel so isolated. I think it's better to look at the diagnosis to help me understand myself and why I might find some things difficult and to learn ways other people have used to cope rather than saying, I can't do this, I can't do that because of the Asperger's. I don't see it so much as a restricting thing like I used to, rather a way to understand myself and to make things easier for myself so I don't get so stressed. When I first got diagnosed I thought there was lots of things I'd never managed to do because of it. For some things that's true but some things are just more difficult but possible to learn and there are some things about Asperger's that are better than not having it. People often say that people on the autism spectrum don't care about others, but I know that's not true because my best friend is one of the most caring people I know and she has AS. They say we can't have any friends. It's certainly more difficult and took a while to learn, but I have several friends now, many of whom also have Asperger's too. I think I value my friendships a lot more and I'm a very loyal friend because I know what it's like not to have any. They say we don't want relationships and that there's an 80% divorce rate for marriages with people with AS. But I hope one day to find a girlfriend and build a strong relationship together where we can both be ourselves and not worry about our differences. I think it would be easier to date someone with Asperger's as well, but I don't know, it depends who I meet. I know several other people with Asperger's who are in good relationships. I think there's a lot of discrimination in employment where almost every job advert you look at asks for excellent interpersonal skills, even in situations where these aren't really necessary. People just don't think about Asperger's when they write these things. But we can be well motivated and hardworking. My work department is OK, and the manager now knows I have AS and has been very supportive. One thing I think is very interesting, meeting other people with Asperger's, is how we have some experiences in common, and that helps to understand each other. But everyone is very different. Everyone has different interests and a different personality. I find people with Asperger's easier to understand than neurotypical people. Another thing I have trouble with is I have sensory problems with loud noises. So places like clubs and loud pubs are not very nice. It's very hard to follow what anyone is saying if there's much background noise. Nowadays I have the confidence to just politely say I don't want to go there. I'm aware that it doesn't take much to stress me out and I react a lot worse to stress than most people. Understanding why has helped me to think that that's okay, to be more careful about stress and not feel bad about not doing the same as everyone else. For example, I only work part-time. I made a real effort to learn more social skills, and I mostly did this by reading communication skills and psychology books that try to explain human behaviour in a very academic way, and then using these rules for everyday social situations. It's not perfect, but it's helped a lot.
really enjoy my allotment. It's nice to have an interest I can lose myself in sometimes, and I find it very calming when I get stressed. I like to try different ideas and learn different things about gardening here. I'm trying to save some of my own seeds and swap them with other people. I've tried growing some unusual plants, such as strawberry spinach, which has leaves you can eat like spinach and berries you can eat like strawberries, and asparagus lettuce, which is a lettuce with stalks you can eat like asparagus. They haven't always worked or tasted good though. This year I'm going to try saving unusual seed and growing rare varieties of different vegetables. I love seeing how you can plant something so tiny and seeing how it grows so big and things you can eat. Maybe this comment is stupid. Maybe this comment is wise. But you got me seeing things through totally different eyes. Sat on the ground you were lost. In your own wilderness. Staring into empty spaces. Not engaging with anyone. In the sea of moving faces. I looked at you and there you were lost. Maybe my thinking is stupid. Maybe my conscience is wise. My spirit stirred within me, calling me to stand by your side. That's how our journey began, reaching out to you to help you on your way. That's what God said to me. So there I was, ready for you, to stand up and show me the way, seeing things your way through your eyes, which are wise. Maybe this comment is stupid. Maybe this comment is wise. But you got me seeing things through totally different eyes. Sat on the ground you were lost. In your own wilderness, staring into empty spaces, not engaging with anyone in the sea of moving faces. I looked at you and there you were, lost. Maybe my thinking is stupid. Maybe my conscience is wise. My spirit stirred within me, calling me to stand by your side. That's how our journey began, 
reaching out to you to help you on your way. That's what God said to me. So there I was, ready for you to stand up and show me the way. Seeing things your way, through your eyes, which are wise.
was at a, a Spurgeous meeting on, on the Thursday. Um, we were going out for a meal on the 29th of November. It was like, was it the Christmas dinner? Yep. And um, you were there and I was there and we, we just sort of met, didn't we? When I first saw John Paul, it was so nice because I just saw him and I thought, you know, he's cute. But I didn't want to say anything at the time because it wasn't appropriate. But mm. um, after, everybody kept saying to us, oh, you two should go out together. That's Dave and people kept saying to us, didn't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the best thing that's happened to us. Yeah, it is. I mean, I feel good because I, I don't drink anymore. Anymore, I used to drink a lot. I used to drink every night because I had neighbour problems and um, sort of got off the drinking. Did, didn't... Yeah, you did that for me, didn't you? Yeah. And ever since meeting John Paul, I felt a lot more stable in myself and a lot more happy. And it just really goes to show, like, me and him are an example of two people with Asperger's who are in love. Uh, I feel happy. I like us being together. You know, uh, I miss you when you're not there. One interesting aspect of going out with John Paul is wherever I am, he always rings me up and always takes me to places. Like, I never have to walk anywhere on my own because John Paul says, Oh no, it's too dangerous, I'll walk you there. Don't you? Yeah. You want to protect me. Uh -huh. Life has changed since us being together. Yeah. I find going out with um, somebody else with Asperger's, like, a lot more easier than going out with someone with who is neurotypical, because we both understand each other's autistic tendencies, so we support each other. John Paul, he's so different. He accepts me for who I am, and um, I really value that in him. Yeah, uh, going out with an Aspie girl, um, well, we understand each other, don't we? Um, we're, we're there for each other. I'm not saying that there are not times that we have ups and downs, because we certainly do have our ups and downs. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially when we first got to know each other, there was a few teething problems mm -hmm. in our relationship because we had to get used to each other. And in a way, even though I have Asperger's and he has Asperger's, when we first got together, um, because both of our Asperger's is very different, it did mean we had to learn to adapt to each other's tendencies. Oh, I've def definitely improved since meeting, you know, meeting Nicola. Um, I've, um, I'm becoming more, well, more independent. Uh, I've got a voluntary job now. Uh, vol voluntary work and, you know, you helped me to get that, Nicola. Um, still have a few problems with, like, panic and that. Uh, I tend to worry about my health a lot, but, um, I'm, uh, learning how to, like, cope more with it. Being, being in love's the best thing that's happened, really. It'd be nice to get married, maybe in a year or so. Yeah, and have children. And have children, yeah. Once we've got enough money, trying to save up, save up a couple of grand in reserves, you know. So we'll have some money to back us up. Hopefully, um... But we will get married, won't we? Yeah, we will do. Um, it's going to be a very interesting we wedding. It's most of our friends have got Asperger's. I think it's important for people to know that people with Asperger's can fall in love and can have... Think about, we've got a future together, haven't yeah. we? And both of us want to work and both of us want to marry each other. I mean... What I'm really happy about meeting with John Paul is um, I feel now that I've got my very own family. I've got John Paul, me and the dog. And it's it means a lot to me to have a family of my own. I think um, it's important to know that I've got my little family because I just feel so um, secure. Yeah. In love, happy. I feel secure and in love. I'm happy to be with you, Nicola. Can't think, well, life would be a lot worse if we weren't here. It's not as isolating, isn't it, with us being mm. together? I know. I like us being together. My lovely fiancé. Who I love with all my heart, loving you every minute of the day I spend with you, no matter what life throws at us, true love will bind us together. You are the best thing that's happened to me, I give you my heart. My one true love, who I love with all my heart, Every day that passes, I feel closer to you. 
Through all the joys and the trials, we will make it through. The one thing that matters in life is to be with you. I give you my love. We are one together in love forever. My lovely fiancé, who I love with all my heart, loving you every minute of the day I spend with you, no matter what life throws at us, true love will bind us together. You are the best thing that's happened to me, I give you my heart. My one true love, who I love with all my heart, Every day that passes, I feel closer to you. Through all the joys and the trials, we will make it through. The one thing that matters in life is to be with you. I give you my love. We are one together in love forever.
Can you get the dog out for me? Yeah. Nippy. Bed time. I'm tired. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Love you. Love you, Nicole. Love you more. Love you more, more. Love you more, more, more. Love you more, 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 more. Wow. Yeah. How much do you love me? Two million back. Why? Just do. If you don't. Oh. Meow. Can you cover me up? Yeah, okay. Can you, you do what you normally do? What's that? Go wee! With the right support and encouragement, people with autism and Asperger's can lead full and independent lives. Some autistic people go on to university and even work. People with autism can marry and have children. Autistic people can and do love even if they can't express it. Autistic people do make a contribution to society. Research suggests that Einstein and Newton display signs of Asperger's syndrome. Some people suspect that famous artist Van Gogh has autistic tendencies. Some famous people have thought to be on the autism spectrum. People like Steven Spielberg, director of films, Bill Gates of Microsoft Computers, Woody Allen, a film actor, Daryl Hannah, actress, film Gary Newman, pop singer of the 80s, Hans Christian Andersen, writer. Autistic people can be artistic and creative. This film was made and created by autistic people. <laughs>